Today I'm going to tell you all a story that you might not have heard for a while. And yes, this story is traditionally for children, but I also think it has an important message for homeowners in North Queensland. Soon I'll tell you why. But first, I want you all to pretend like you're getting tucked in while I remind you of a bedtime classic. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Now these pigs had grown up and had to build houses for their own pig families. But these pigs had very different ideas about the structural integrity of houses. The first pig thought straw would be enough and decided to spend the rest on some nice granite bench tops. The second pig wasn't much better. He thought sticks would do the trick and bought a new boat instead. But the third pig, he took his time and built his house out of brick because he knew he lived in an area that was prone to a particular kind of hazard. Now I'm sure you all roughly remember how this story ends. The hazard in this story is a big bad wolf who shows up and blows down the houses that aren't made of brick. So you're probably all wondering, how does this story have an important message for adult homeowners in North Queensland? Well, it turns out that North Queenslanders think about cyclones in a similar way to how pigs think about wolves. Cyclones, like big bad wolves, can cause significant damage to housing. But as it turns out, there are a range of structural upgrades that can be installed to reduce this damage. So I wanted to figure out what are some of the psychological factors that make someone want to install these upgrades. And what I found is that people's thoughts about both cyclones and structural upgrades can be classified into three groups, much like the three little pigs. I found that one group, compared to the others, weren't really concerned about the effects of cyclones. The second group thought about cyclones a little more, but did not think that the benefits of structural upgrades outweighed the costs. But the third group, they were different. They thought about cyclones the most, and they thought that structural upgrades had benefits that outweighed the costs. Not surprisingly, this last group had a significantly higher intention to install structural upgrades in the future. These findings tell us that the way people think helps to explain why they prepare. And as we have learnt from today's story, preparation is key for reducing hazard-related property damage. The findings also tell us how to encourage people to prepare by getting to them to first think more about cyclones and acknowledge that the benefits of structural upgrades outweigh the costs. By using this research to provide the right information to the right people, hopefully, more of us will be like the pig with the brick house and be safe during the next wolf season.